Okay, so calculating current using charge. Uh, so uh, the charger for a Droid X produces 5 volts and 800 milliamps. How much charge and energy will a Droid X absorb in 20 minutes? So let's start off this problem. Uh, we're going to use this, this formula, which is the current is equal to the change in charge divided by the change in time. Since we're starting at time zero, at time zero and charge zero, we can just rewrite this as the charge divided by, oops, the charge divided by, well, let's just erase that. It's the charge divided by time. I just don't like how sloppy that looks. Divided by time. Okay, so, and we want to solve for charge, so we're going to rewrite that as the charge is equal to the current time, or multiplied by the time. Here the current is 800 milliamps and the time is 20 minutes, so the current is 800 milliamps multiplied by the time, and this has to be in seconds because uh, amps times seconds will give you coulombs. So 20 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds divided by 1 minute. The minutes will cancel out, and you're going to be left with the charge is equal to 0.8 amps times 20 times 60, you're gonna, and it's going to be amps times seconds. So here you're going to get uh, uh, 12 times 8, well, here, I'll just write it like this. 0.8 times 1,200 and amps times coulombs will, or amps times seconds will give you coulombs. So that's going to be 96, 960, 960 coulombs. So the charge that uh, that Droid X will absorb is 960 coulombs. Now, how about the energy? Well, the formula for energy is uh, the energy is equal to the power multiplied by the time. Now, let's scroll down a little bit. And now uh, let's see, we know that the volts are 5 volts and that the current is 800 milliamps. So and we know that power, uh, the power is equal to the current times the voltage. So we're just going to plug that in there. So we're going to say that the work is equal to the current times the voltage uh, multiplied by the time, which it's this. We're just plugging this into here, and so that's how we get that. So the current is going to be 800 milliamps times the volts, which we said are uh, 5 volts, and the time, and I'm just going to use this timer here at the 1,200 seconds. Uh, and so you multiply these out, you're going to get, uh, you're going to get, 8 times 5, that's 40. Uh, no, that's not 40. That's uh, 0.8 times 5, that's it's going to give you 4. Then times the 1,200, so that's just going to give you, well, let's scroll down a little bit more. It's going to give you 4,800. So the total energy is going to be equal to 4,800 joules. That's how much energy is going to be absorbed by that droid battery. So let's go on to the second problem. Now, how much energy is used to move a thousand coulombs through uh, through a load using ten volts? So, I mean, if you wanted a, a, an image of that, you could just uh, you could say, well, here's a power supply, and this is my load, just some resistor that's a load. Here's a ten volt supply, and you got a current going through here. And so, you want to know, well, how much, how many coulombs am I forcing through this through this load? And I already know that I forced through a thousand coulombs, so I want to know, uh, well, how much energy does that does that require? And so what we know is that uh, the current is equal to the change in coulombs divided by the change in time. And since we're starting at time zero, we can just rewrite this as coulombs divided by time. And let's see, we also are going to need to know. Uh, I believe it's the power, so and then we're going to have power 
and power is just going to be equal to the current times the voltage and then we're also going to need to know that the energy or work is equal to the power times or multiplied by the time so really we're just going to use these three formulas and manipulate them in order to solve for uh, energy so we're going to start off at, with work is equal to the power multiplied by time and we're going to replace power here with with uh, current and voltage so I'm going to say the energy is equal to the current times the voltage multiplied by the time these are the ones that we replace we just that used to be power so now at this point we're also going to substitute in for current and here we have what current's equal to it's the charge uh, divided by time so we're going to say that the work is equal to the charge divided by time multiplied by the voltage multiplied by time so you'll notice that time actually cancels out leaving this equation much nicer and we know that uh, the, the charge is a thousand it's a thousand coulombs and that the voltage is 10 volts so let's plug those in and we'll get an answer so the energy is equal to a thousand uh, coulombs multiplied by the voltage which was 10 volts and those multiply together is going to give us 10,000 so the work or the energy is equal to 10 kilojoules and that's how you solve that one so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you out and uh, good luck in your classes